Hey folks, how you doing? Jay Essex again. Uh, I wanted to talk to you briefly about, well, about prayer, about a, a word and a concept, uh, a thought concept called prayer. Um, a lot of people want to get on their hands and knees and beg for stuff from some kind of ultimate being that's supposedly perfect and all loving and stuff. Um, number one, there's no such thing. Uh, if you could see the other side, you'd understand. It wouldn't be a debate. It wouldn't be anything that gets you upset. It's just, you know, if you go into a room and there's not a, uh, uh, orange fire hydrant, there's not an orange fire hydrant. I mean, it's, it's simple. Um, but for the concept of prayer, if you... If, if you really wanted to talk to something to get help from it and had to ask, like, beg for it, um, that doesn't seem to make much sense to me. More so, if something was so strong and powerful and all-loving and everything, why would it want you to pray? Why would it want you to give self-sacrifice? Why would it want you to kneel, belittle yourself in front of its almighty presence. Um, if it was everything that you all want to think it is, then it wouldn't want that. Okay? Um, why would it want you to pray to it? Doesn't make sense to me. Uh, it just actually doesn't make sense at all. Uh, I used to pray, don't get me wrong, when I was young. Um, but when, when you see everything as clear as I do on the other side, then it's it's a whole different ball game. It's easier for me, I understand, than most people. But, uh, uh, you know, think about it. You know, if, some, if something was all that wonderful, it would not want your prayer. Uh, I think it would really enjoy hearing from you. Um... But as far as prayer, no, it, it shouldn't. That's self-serving. And what used to be on the other side, running things, the original mother and father first being, 27.5% negative, yeah. Creation's full of abuse, it runs on abuse, it's made to be abusive, period, before it is anything else. Um, they're dead, gone, again. Tired of me hearing it? I don't, I'm not tired of saying it, I'm very happy that they are. Um, things can start to change slowly energy on the other side that's in charge of things uh, my energy the energy that I'm part of uh, uh, male source energy over there uh, it doesn't have the knowledge of having lives in it it's stupid okay it's running lives right now and it's doing a really pathetic job um, it is what it is I'm not cutting myself down uh, I need to get out of this body and take the knowledge of having all these lives that I've had and put it into it and let that start, you know, helping people run lives. Uh, the main thing is, please remember, the nasty stuff is gone. By 2020, things are going to be settled down over there. The knowledge will be there. Uh, things are going to move forward uh, at a very good clip. Um, but <clears throat> instead of praying, uh, I wish you consider this. Uh, relax and meditate but when i say meditate i really mean just relax um if you just find a comfortable position get your spine somewhat straight just let the energy flow down in out don't rush anything just relax um take a deep breath in just a little deeper than normal let it out in a very relaxed manner and then take a slightly deeper one in and then let it out in a relaxed manner. Just let it flow. Um, your body was made nine times out of ten just fine. Um, sometimes they have problems and the problems that your bodies have are relative to what you wanted uh, in your life here this time. Um, so... Uh, if you just relax, feel part of nature. The bodies come from the earth. 
the energy's everywhere. The energy out here is beautiful, uh, but so is the energy in your body. Um, that's another reason too. Please they eat good and please try to keep the drugs out of you. Um, as you breathe in, you're pulling in oxygen that goes into your lungs, goes into your lungs, feeds everything. Uh, it's funny, I'm over here dealing with the bugs and <coughs> bugs, uh, most bugs are a real pain in the butt, don't have much of a use. Mosquitoes, uh, uh, cockroaches, the, there's really not much of a reason for them except to bother us, which is a non-stop issue. Uh, that's part of the constant slight abuse that, that's here, but uh, that's nothing compared to what really happens. Uh, and, and that's a topic for another time. But uh, um, if you just relax and when you breathe in, pull in the energy from the planet as well as the oxygen. The oxygen goes into your lungs and it literally feeds all your organs, everything they need is, um, as far as uh, fresh air. Um, there's a lot of good nutrients in, uh, in, ox in your breath. Uh, there's also the food that you eat. All that goes into the blood, the blood runs it through your body. But that air is really important. And when you bring in the air, you, it's not just the oxygen you breathe in. That is, uh, you know, it's a physical thing, but you know what, there's energy in it too. But you pull in the energy of the planet. You pull a you pull little bit of Gaia's energy in, and these bodies come from and belong to the Earth. Gaia's energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, as you breathe in, you're taking in energy, you're taking in oxygen. You're really feeding your body everything it needs from the physical viewpoint and metaphysical viewpoint. And then as you exhale, you get the exhaust out of your body and frustrations and stuff that build up, let them go. Just let them flow right out. Uh, the energy of the earth will literally take it. You have to give it to it and then it'll take it away. So if you think when you breathe, just relax, let the body do its natural thing. But take a deeper breath to get a little more oxygen. Don't go, don't go like that. Just take a nice deeper breath and then let it out relax. You do that four or five times and then just remember you're taking the good in and ex exhaling and expending the negative, the, uh, um, the exhaust. Then you start to relax. And then what you, once you get four or five breaths in, it's usually enough. Then go inside your, while you're inside your head, just Relax and, relax and just talk to one of your spirit guides. And don't talk in person. They're already in there. Just talk by thinking. Have the thought to talk to one of your spirit guides. You don't need a name at first. Uh, well, you don't need a name, period. But you don't have to start having a name. And just say, show me what I need to see. And then they can actually take you to past life uh, uh, regressions. You know, different past lives where you've had trauma and stuff happen. Uh, you can take the time to say, I want to go to the last life that I had on a different planet. And then the next thing you know, you're there. Uh, it, it might happen <clears throat> on the first try. It might take 15. As long as you relax, you'll be going. So um, if you, you know, do whatever you want. Man, I love you anyway. Uh, but please consider prayer is, is, well, I'm sorry, it's silly, okay? Uh, if, if you want to do it, that's fine, but as far as a purposeful thing, <clears throat> it's silly. There's nothing over there to pray to. Uh, and also, understand this too, please. Your heart continuously takes its feelings and throws it out through the field. Just as the fish swim through the ocean, the ocean is a fish's field. Um, your field is energy everywhere. It's source energy. Actually, I'm, I'm part of the same energy. Uh, it's it's um, male source energy. Um, and it just, just let your heart soar through the field. Because you're literally talking. You're expressing your feelings all the time and you don't even know it. Well, some of you do, but most of you don't even know it. So if you want to think of prayer or something that's really important, and that's fine, um, I'm just saying... Please understand that there's nothing over there uh, that wants you to get on your knees and lower yourself to it. Okay? Not anymore, it's not. 
So uh, uh, do what you want, but if you go inside and you talk to your spirit guides, you're going to get more done. Uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> the big lie of uh, law of attraction, uh, a bad joke, um, you don't get what you want. Uh, you know, it's, that stuff's silly. All that stuff is silly. Uh, you ask for a certain life and things are really screwed up on the other side right now, but you know what? They're still going to try to get you something that's close. Uh, but if you talk to your spirit guides, that's the quickest way to get something done. Because as you talk to them, they will go to bat for you. They will. That's their job. And, and I don't know, 95, 94 out of 100 of them are going to do their job. So um, uh, please consider that instead. Maybe try both ways and see what happens. Um, but... Uh, just please know that if, uh, if there really was something that was worth prayer, uh, and that kind of praise, whatever, something for you to really lower yourself to, it would ask you to get up off your knees and tell you, you know, please don't do that. All right, guys. You'll have a good one, man. Love you. Kind of nice water, isn't it? It's beautiful out here. This is what I appreciate. Instead of praying, I'd like to think of communicating, communing, communing, whatever you want to call it. It's just letting yourself out. Energy's everywhere, and you're talking to all of it anyway. Look at the water. Feel the water. Feel the energy in there. There's little beings inside the water. The trees are alive. <clears throat> Did you know that trees have what you call a Kundalini, an EME stream, the two energies? It's amazing. The animals that are everywhere. This is beauty. This is tranquility. This is family. This is being destroyed. And it's going to stop. By 2020, folks, things change in a big way. Love you, man. Take care.